Hi, I'm Gary, M0TIG here at Martin Lynch & Sons and today I'm going to be revisiting the RF Explorer Spectrum Analyzers starting with the WSUB1G+. That's the box and that's the little device. Um, it's a really well made piece of kit and it really does give you quite a lot of um, functions that you would expect from a much more expensive um, device. It does come with a few bits and pieces, not only do you get the, the very nice well made meter, I can see, you can see just how well that is, and everyone's remarked just how heavy and sort of substantial this actually is. Um, it comes with a, a little tiny aerial and um, therefore um, for 70 SEMs and here you've actually got a little telescopic whip which gives you some other bands again you'd need to play around with that for the different bands that you you're going to play with um, but the really interesting thing with this is they've actually developed and we've been working with RF Explorer to actually get them to add a license sort of function or an addition to the software which enables this to be used for experimenting in the EMF measurement um, field. It's a, a really, really handy relative um, meter that could be quite useful to, you know, maybe just play around and try and help you conform with the, with the new license regulations which are um, coming out. That's not to say that you shouldn't, um, you should always do the little form and follow the approved guidance that uh, the RSGB and Ofcom have given you. This isn't going to measure anything like that. You need very expensive equipment to do that. However, this is quite helpful and it is relative. Each of the bands, you do need a calibrated antenna for each of the frequencies that you're interested in and that's an important thing so that's where the, this really starts to come become interesting is experimenting with those types of antennas and experimenting around emf it's really good fun i'm gonna head over now to the computer and i'll show you what the software does and uh, see you in a sec okay so here we are at the computer and what i've gone on and, and done is i've popped along to j3.rf-explorer.com and gone to the download section and actually downloaded the software for windows it, there is software available for mac um, and linux and uh, sometimes uh, other things but um, but mac and windows are fully supported so what we'll do is we get rid of that. Once you've actually downloaded and installed that, you'll get a few icons down the side here. There is actually a version available for older versions of uh, Windows and Linux that don't support OpenGL. And we're not going to worry about that one. We're going to go with the RF Explorer for Windows in this case. Um, you open up the software. Okay, in the first instance, it may ask you where to find the, um, the device itself and you can if you go into the configuration uh, you can actually set up all sorts of things in there and somewhere along here in the spectrum analyzer but in most cases it will automatically find it now along the top here you can just see here um, at the top at the center frequency you can actually set that that's the frequency that you're actually working with um, and what i've done for just for demonstration i've actually set this up so that it is working with 70 SEMs and you can see that the spectrum analyzer is just uh, bumbling along down the bottom here and if I um, key the radio you can actually see that it gives me the frequency and the signal strength um, if you overload it it does actually hit the red line and it does come up and tell you that you've uh, exceeded the, the power um, but really really useful bit of software there's a ton of stuff you can do it's also got a signal generator um, attached um, or or uh, as part of the software although i think it's only on certain units that actually offer this functionality so uh, make sure that you've got the right uh, right thing and in fact i've got a um, a signal generator version of that thing again and this again is a, is a combo um, plus this one the, the combo plus options or the combo um, options offer two radios basically there's a UHF radio and a VHF and HF radio built into the, the devices so there you go you can actually you can do quite a lot with this it will give you you've got like a power meter built in when it actually receives on keying up a radio here um, it will give you like a, a power 
Um, you've also got a waterfall function, which is really, really cool. You can see our signal just coming up here, just popping out of the, out of the grass. And you can see if the nearer I get to the, the unit, the more the, the power goes up. And that'll obviously, I think that'll go red actually, if, uh, if we get too close. Right. Um, it, it's worth experimenting with this software and the manuals and all the documents and stuff are available on that uh, on that j3.rf-explorer um, website. There's a whole heap of information. And like I said before, there, there are now some additions to the firmware, which mean you can use these now as a, an EMF meter. But like I said earlier, it's all relative and you will need to experiment around it. It's not designed to... Uh, to replace the forms that are online by the Ofcom and the RSGB. It's very important to remember that. Um, but what this does do, it offers you a whole heap of versatility that mean you can really have a lot of fun experimenting. So, and that's what the hobby's about. So again, let's go back to the other Gary and uh, finish this up. So I hope that was uh, of some use and uh, I hope that you enjoyed looking at the RF Explorer W sub 1G plus and um, we have these in stock um, and the licenses are available on our website for the EMF function um, if you want to start experimenting in that. Don't forget that you need to calibrate an, an antenna for each of the bands that you want to experiment with um, but enjoy that's what the hobby is all about thanks for watching